I hope the rain stays away. Hi everybody and welcome back to our channel. Today we are at Girraween National Park in Balladine, which is on the border of Queensland and New South Wales. It consists of 117 square kilometres of rugged adventurous terrain. It has 30 kilometres of walking track, huge gravity defying granite boulders. Wouldn't want to be here in an earthquake. Watering holes, rock pools, open forests, wildflowers, wildlife and plenty of kangaroos. We stayed at the Terra Walbella campsite. The campsite's comprised of a hard decomposed granite, the toilets and shower cubicles but no showers. We were told that there were showers but they were taken out during COVID and because no one kicked up a fuss they never put them back in. Check into your camp after 2pm and check out by 11am on the day of departure. Bookings are online through the Queensland National Park Booking Service. It is a pain to use, especially if you don't really know what camping area you're in. You first have to create an account and it only costs $7.25 per night per person. There's no dogs or generators allowed and no drinking water or rubbish bins are provided. There is water there, but it's not drinking water. Mobile phone coverage is poor and in some cases non-existent. Although Gil got coverage when he went hiking and was on top of the rocks. The hiking tracks are amazing with the easy to hard ones available. I managed to get around with the easy ones with my walking stick but left Gil to tackle the hard ones on his own. Mind you, I was a bit paranoid that he may have an accident. And that's where I've come through. Hope that doesn't fall down anytime soon. So I sent him off with a backpack equipped in case he got lost and spent the night in the outback. So he's fully equipped with a first aid kit, whistle and torch. When he goes off on his own, we set boundaries like, if he is not back by dark, I'll call the police. And in this case, it would have been the park ranger. He showed me on the map exactly where he will be going and any detours he may take. And this time I did ask him to make sure that he always kept his backpack on. So if he fell off a cliff, assuming that he would survive, that at least he had what he needed to get the attention of someone to attend his wounds and keep sheltered. Now, do you think that he did what I asked? As there is twice I saw a video where his backpack was on the ground. Thank goodness he came back with no incident. So we would highly recommend staying at Guruway National Park in Balladine. Whether you love to hike or just love the scenery, it is somewhere you can relax, put your feet up or hit the tracks. Check out nature or take a dip in the rock pool. You won't regret the stay. Meanwhile, check out our other videos and we'll see you in the next one.